Hello there everyone and welcome back to Der Bruderkrieg, an Austrian victory mod for Hearts of Iron 4. I'm your host, Mr. Austrian Empire level, but we gotta talk about Silesia or War. Unfortunately, what we feared the most has happened. On the night of uh, 1 o'clock, the 19th of September, 1939, the Prussian ambassador in Vienna handed over an official ultimatum to our Prime Minister. It can, its content most certainly echoed around the Reichsrat building for quite a long time to the government of the Austrian Empire. The Prussian government feels convinced that it is indispensable that economic, territorial, and personal damage inflicted since 1867 should be reversed. And compensation made therefore, of course. The Prussian government regards its obligation as binding upon both parties, unconditional surrender of the territory of Silesia by the administration of the crown of St. Venceslaus to its rightful ruler. The transfer of a certain amount of monetary compensation decided by a joint commission in order to mend relations between the two governments of the Prussian state and the Habsburg monarchy following the Bruderkrieg, signed yesterday by Ernst Röhm. Our foreign office is ready to draft an official response regarding the pressing ultimatum given to us by the Prussian embassy. The question is, what should it be? Accept the demands. Deny. Prussia demands Silesia. In urgent news, Unstrom has decided or demanded the return of the Austrian territory of Silesia to Prussian hands. A third brutal krieg between the Prussians and Austrians seems, seemed inevitable, inven, inevitable since the Treaty of Vienna was signed under the first Europa Krieg. With Austria likely to refuse the ultimatum, the people of Europe which watch never see on their seats, unsure what there is to come. Oh no, but we gotta be ready, you know, because the Second Brothers Coalition with Italy, as well as, not the Vatican, but it looks like Romania is here too, so I did rush some divisions down here as well. Um, but we, I think I did a focus by accident as well, off screen, I can't remember which one I did. In Austria, the uh, Empire of Heartland, we must make sure our industry around Vienna is stronger than ever, it's already through which our empire, entire empire runs through. No, we read that one last time, the sure intervention. Um, yeah, we did that one too, I'll be honest, I cannot remember. Um, so, there's one here that I didn't read, I do apologize that I forgot to read about. So I would like to get down here, civilian factories, this stuff of course, a new central economy would be very nice. Um, this stuff would be pretty good for more factory output immediately, but I do want to get down here as well. So, Kozilesha Panzerkorps. Well, the Imperial Tank Corps is the beginning of a new age of warfare. Using these metal beasts, we can make the world bow down to us. Uh, of course, we know uh, fuel, which is not good at all, of course. Uh, fuel, Caracas Commune. Let's see what we can do about that. And they'll probably go to war with us, as we will defend our territory. But we've got quite a few comments. Jazz. Try Russia or Prussia. So all says, after you're done with this mod, can you check out the New Ways mod or do a Tandy NCR game in Oral Blues? Well, lucky for you. I've already done, or at least an NCR game, but maybe not Tandy's NCR game in Oral Blues. Um, New Ways mod? I've tried them out. I looked, looked at them earlier. I don't know. Maybe eventually. We'll see. So all says, what do you think about the new info for the new uh, DLC for Italy? Or at least the announcement of it. I'll be honest, I haven't looked at that at all at the time of this recording because I've been extraordinarily busy. So... Uh, we'll see you in our war now, of course. Someone says, do rush as well. What do you think the best mustache person is? Mr. Schmittler, Papa Stalin, Mosley, Eleferios Venezuelos, Archives de Vela II. Uh, you bring up Mosley and I get kind of excited, so I'll probably have to go with Mosley for now. Oh, stop training. Oh, yeah, definitely stop training for now. Um, I don't want you all to die in the water. I'm glad I double checked this one. Oh, boy. Plane wise, or do we have everyone in the air at least? You guys are still doing some cast stuff, which is fine, but there you go. Um, someone says, so can you federalize the empire into a wholesome Danubian federation? I don't know, maybe not, but we'll see. Wait a minute, someone else says, um, let's take a look see here. Uh, absolutism is too out of character for Charles, but cool as all possible. Someone says, the mod looks great, I tried Russia once, it's pretty fun. And someone else says, the mod's fantastic. And right now, uh, more breakthrough, oh, Imperial, I mean, I'd like that, focus on speed. But we did go grand battle plan, because that's the way we were already on here, 7.5%. More HP, that's kind of different, huh? So we'll go down this way. So, Austrian command. We can only trust Austrians. We need to restrict officers to Austrians only. Hopefully, we can hold the line here. So, I put a lot of divisions on the line. Other times, we'll be at war this as well. Pius the 12th, huh? Uh, didn't you guarantee us or something? Ah, uh, you guys want to come in here? You know what? What if we say no right now? As long as we're holding the line fairly okay, like. Ooh, that's not good. Here, I'll defend. Um, scavenger, ambush. Go with ambush for now. Even though you're a bunch of uh, infantry leader. It's fine. They're really trying to kill us off here very badly. Of course, the war's pretty much just started too, but still. Get back in there, boys. Alright, some more divisions. That'd be nice. A tank division. Well, I think I threw the tanks down here against the... Romanians, because we only have so much territory. Oh, and also, let's stop doing that, too. Um, Russian Workers Union, yes. 
There you go. Much better. Oh, we lost a tile, huh? That's not good. Um, in the meantime, now you all. There you go. Anything here? Eh, we could do offensive or defensive. I want to wait still a little bit. Um, anything there? You are Mr. Motorized, so it gets more defense. That'd be kind of nice. You, on the other hand, don't really need too much there. Uh, what do you have over here? Zener. Entrenchment, because you can. We could call our guys in, but that would open up more of the front, which is not very ideal. Um, losses, 14,000 versus 127,000. So overall, not bad so far. It is 1939. We've got most of this stuff done already. Probably could use a little, ooh, a little more coordination, perhaps. And more guns. I, we are trying to get some medium tanks. We need a little bit more arty as well. It's not good, but still. Um, and you guys are poised to join these guys to here. I'm going to blow it early. Probably easy on the line. Oh, the time's up there too, huh? As long as they don't navel invade us, we should be okay, but still, you never know. Uh, engineers are working on that. Maybe some better recon as well. Well, at least the French have slightly shown up. Alright. Yeah, you got all that there. Scavenger Fortress Buster. Let's wait. Ooh. Anything else here? Pressure. Oh, pressure friends. Oh, we got all stuff. Oh, do we lose a towel? That's not good. Quite not good, actually. Yeah, you can hold me. There's no mountain, so. The Woods of the Crossroads, of course. Europe is on total war, raging fire, pressure them to intervene. The fate of Italy. Napoleon VI pushes for overlordship over Sicily. Huh. Against Russia. Oh, God. Mountain is training. Imperial diet. Yeah, we can probably close out of this one. Pushing to Silesia. Oh, look at this. This is the Bavarians. To the Danube. Interesting. Offensive against the Second Coalition Brothers War. I mean, overall, these guys are doing very well for defending. Even though we have, like, no arty on these guys. So, we're getting way more arty. Uh, still trying to build more forts. Because these guys, these land veda divisions, they're... They don't very much, I'll be honest. Recon. Very nice. Austrian command. Bab. Good, keep working on it. Keep working on more factories and whatnot, too. Carl, you're literally leading the army here. It's good. Very good. Ooh, we lost, like, we lost another tile. Not good. I mean, they're paying dearly. Ooh, the fall of Constantinople. Whoa. Division of. Oh, my goodness. Byzantium. Of course. Sublime. Oh, what the hell? That's a very strong red Russia. Holy crap. Um. Cast, probably. Not doing training. New United Arabia. Because it wasn't united before. Wow, that's a big Palestine. Who the heck owns a Suez? Huh. Suez Canal Authority, huh? Alright. Interesting. Oh, crap. Uh, what? You guys are actually doing relatively okay. Um. Oh, that's really not good. Yeah, you know, just in case, let's save because we have literally no other divisions to spare right now. So it says, if anything, we can maybe push on the Italian front. You know what? We can try it. If it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. Obviously, we gotta call these guys in now. Feel maybe. Well, 
an assault specialist, good. Three to nineteen twenty-eight, huh? Good. Open up that front line a little bit more. Let's go offensive. Embargo Prussia, that's good. Um Soft attack and break is very good as well. Uh, getting to roughly 1940. All of you guys will hold. Oh, are they pushing into there too? That's not good. You guys actually might be able to do some damage here eventually. You guys are still, I mean, this is a heck of a struggle. That should help us out at least a little bit. Focus on firepower, focus on battle plan. We focus on training officers and journals uh, to make great plans of tactics win battles. Hmm. Defense bonus, eh? What do you mean defense of the fatherland? They're the ones who attacked us. They're out of guns, which is very good to see, actually. Anything. Could you attack them, perhaps? Go on the offensive. Fate of Italy. Pushing to Silesia. Yeah. How can we not win here? They just keep attacking. We can't fight these. All three... Division at the same time, that makes no sense. Sus Bavarians? Sure, why not? To the Danube? Alright, so I should not click on that that fast, but that's kind of ridiculous. Um, there's nothing we can do, so I'm going to redo this a little bit off screen so we have more divisions because this is way too difficult. France pledges support to our cause, even though I clicked on the one for French assistance against these guys and they said no, but whatever. Napoleon VI has agreed that the time has come to end Prussia and its revolution, revolutionary fervor once and for all. And now, against two of the largest empires in the Europe, Prussia cannot help to stand against us. We shall kill those Prussians. Master tactics. We need master to command destroy enemies with the carefully crafted plans that turn disadvantages into, into, into advantages. We have revitalized the Reich's army into a weapon to be feared by Europe. By Europe. Huh. Tactics against major country, huh? Focus on firepower. We need to focus on overwhelming firepower to obliterate our enemies. And then uh, master artillery. We need master artillery to destroy enemies with the wrath of God and guns. So they stopped attacking. We've actually done really not too bad against Romania. And we're not at war with Russia. Um, uh, what are they doing right now? They're all, well, we're not sure what they're doing. So, for now, we're not at war with them, but they're going to go to war with them. Our Navy's been doing actually very well. They put in a lot of work. This guy's done a very, 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 very good job. Uh, Navy-wise, like, I was very impressed. Equipment details. Um, ship lost. He won. Uh, last month, we sunk uh, four subs, 19 light hulls, nine cruisers, five heavy ships, and a couple convoys. So, overall, and we've not had no major losses yet. It's like, our Navy, our fleet, our main fleet... That's doing really, really, really well. Kill these visions off. Good. Could we? We could do a full offensive, maybe. I've not called these guys in yet. Just to see what would happen. Um, we did get a uh, war economy, which is good, 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 good. If we, oh, well, just intervention against us. Not content with taking Krakow from us. The darned Russians have sworn that they'll join Prussia in the conquest of empire. How? Why? I mean, ah. Yeah, I think we're just destined to lose. Uh, I usually go infiltration. We don't really have that many tanks, so I usually just, just click on that one. We better supply, less supply consumption, so it's nice well. Franco Spanish Alliance. Bro. Can you do anything to help us? You say you're going to pledge help, and but you don't. Finally, thank God, French intervened in, into the Europa Creek, and as soon as they started attacking us. Today, Napoleon VI announced a war declaration against the North German Confederation. With French preparing the force over the past few months for war, it seemed that now a conflict with the rising Prussian power loomed on the horizon. Now the war is official without to hold the banks of the Rhine and the Westphalen and the Alps of Italia. Napoleon I was able to fight most of all of Europe with his military genius. Whether Napoleon VI can do the same remains to be seen. The Prussians were ready for the declarations. The troops have already made small skirmishes with the army of Francois and have deployed the Lupapa. Napoleon's Europe on Europe's booty again. Fine with me. It's time to go to kill these guys off if possible. Um, I'm glad they got more allies, but you know what? It looks like they're going to really weaken the line. You know, we 
That's not fair. Yeah, I, mean, I guess maybe it's sort of fair, but this is kind of ridiculous. Fort, Fort Buster, the greater European Revolutionary Sphere, more attack and defense, and they get even more defense, and then even more defense against us. That's a bit extreme, but I like it because it will get to get that too when we play as Prussians. So, yeah, parts are like, holy crap, what the heck is going on here? Oh, did you stop attacking because you're getting attacked on the other side? Say it so. Now we try to attack here. We're probably not going to do very well. Actually, you guys. Uh, still 18 combat with. I did throw in support already, which we don't have it. Actually, we're doing okay. Not bad. To the Danube. You know what? We're going anyways. Let's focus on this offensive first. Let them, I want to see what's going to happen up here first. If they do well, then we're going to push in. Like, I'm going to push in hard. Uh, sure. Now, you guys are going to force the attack. We're going to kill off all the Romanians. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's such a bunch of crap. We're going in then. Every front. No, maybe not this front. This front has to go now, too. Pressure UK to intervene? Yeah, pretty much. Ask for French assistance against Russia. Well, this one, too. Ask for both. This is a bunch of crap, man. What are we supposed to do? Oh, come on. Oh, we have to fight the Bulgarians? Oh, my God. This is... This is impossible. Oh, the carry's nice. Well, we're pretty much screwed then. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like this at all now. Go and defend our lands as much as you can. French intervention against the Russian bear. The defense pact the French formalized in the war against the Russians raging. It's next for us to send an envoy to Paris asking for French intervention against Russia. They're going to be a valuable ally in assisting the war on the East Front. We need their help. This is ridiculous. France honors the pact. The Frenchmen honor the pact and help us in our war efforts against Russia. Yeah, I mean, my god. Now we have no fuel, which is not good. French Empire, maybe a little bit. Holy crap, this is ridiculous. Please just take out the goddamn Romanians. Why do they bought the hell out of the Romanians? Jesus Christ. Just take Bucharest. Oh, stupid supply chains. Uh, France holds us the second treaty of Vienna. Wait, four months of war against. A war lines with France. We have now decided what to do after the defeat of the Prussians. <clears throat> if we accept the French offer, then we'll select this bit of German to ensure a Prussian type threat shall never rise again. Because the Franz Josef did have a dream of a Habsburg led German Empire. This could be our chance to enshrine his legacy and establish Austrian domination over Europe. So, shall we prioritize pragmatism and accept Napoleon's offer or pursue glory? Bro. The French offer? That seems. Uh, I'm gonna go with this one. So, Master Germany, they can have Italy if they want. I don't care about Italy. At this point, we're at the mercy of the whims of the French, really. Because we can't do anything. We are literally screwed over here. This is not fun. We can't hold every front. Congolese Revolt. You should have been able to take out the... How? Oh my god, this is so bad. I just want to hold the line. That's all I care about right now. No, they're che no, they're cheating. I'm, I'm I'm not doing this. No, no, this is stupid. This is incredibly stupid. Well, everyone, this war has just not been very much fun at, at all. But we're doing the Zberno Jovka Berno factories supply of the army. The crop company is ready. It's only too happy to help Austria grow its military production. A declare in the Salzburg Ordinance. With an example of crop, we can now build our own ordinance factories in Salzburg. After that one, the uh, Skoda factories supply the people. We need to expand employment opportunities in the capital. We can do this by opening more factories. We're about building more. So right now, Italy's okay. Um, the French were at war with them, and then they were really weak over there, so we decided to attack them. Um, here are the casualties so far. You know, this has been ridiculous. I, I, we're destined to lose. Like, whenever we play as Russia or we play as Prussia, it should be extremely easy, because this is ridiculous. This is honestly way too much. The entire Russian Empire and North Germany and we're to fight Romania and Bulgaria we're literally and Italy and while the French are helping us this is a bit 
Uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't like this. This is... I mean, maybe, I mean, just, I mean obviously, we're, we're supposed to lose. We are supposed to lose. It should be extremely easy playing against the Austrian Empire. It should be extremely easy, because this is ridiculously stupid. I'll be honest. This is, this is really dumb. Really dumb how, how ridiculous this is. But, uh, yeah, this we can't do anything on this front, obviously. We can't do it. The French are losing on this front, it looks like. Um, the, the Russians are, in my honesty, like, in my opinion, they're, they're too... They're, they're, this, this, I don't know. I'm just going nuts. The ten officials ride in the city of Padua, pens in their hands, sent an armistice with Austrian France. Jusli Vola has fled the country, his current whereabouts are unknown, and royalists are led by Pedro ba Badoglio, a cooperating with Carl I and Napoleon VI. Uh, sure, Baden. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Despite it being one of the weaker European powers, her presence has been key to the balance of power in Europe. What happens next could be a devastating blow to the Garibaldi's dreams. The fate of Italy should be decided. No. 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 This is crap. I hate this. No. If we they lose to us, then we should be able to do whatever we want to them. Uh, we should get some sort of... I do not like the scripted peace deal. Good God, no. This is infuriates me. How crappy this front was. I mean, this is the easiest front we had so far, obviously, because they just were defeated. But that's stupid. And if anything, they should be our puppet. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? No. No. <laughs> Why? They should be our puppet. I mean, we did get... I mean, we, the Papal States did a good war with them, too, so it's really nice. Who? What? Why is this designed like this? What the heck? Why? This is some grade A BS. <laughs> Why is it designed like this? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. They should be a puppet. Also, the very cool thing here in the part of the mod is you go to faction management, which I think is really cool. They have a really high opinion of us since we did all that stuff. Conflicts? Um, coming soon. So that's actually really cool. And we can have uh, these people focus on whatever we want, like, I guess, or something like that. Which is, I think is a really awesome part of the mod, but this is pissing me off to no end. This is stupid. Unless we get some sort of decision to, like, puppet them. Because we should get be able to puppet them. If we have this many millions die, or hundreds of thousands die for this, this makes no sense. And here comes the offensive again. So maybe, I'm hoping, at least we can hold the line here. We can fight the Germans and really concentrate our motorized, as well as some... Um, Infantry divisions and mountaineers, but mm, I'm very I'm questioning some, some parts of this mod now. Holy crap, that was that's stupid. But we're trying to build more military factories as well, so that's good. And because we're out of guns, as you saw. <clears throat> but yeah, that is one of the dumbest things I've seen here. I'm sorry, I'm very sorry, but this pisses me off to no end. I'm sorry, I'm also very tired of the this recording, but like, why? Why would we have a white piece if we're doing it like this? Yeah, we, we lost Prague once. I'll be honest. We lost Prague off screen. But we got it back. But at the same time, why? I mean, I get it. Sometimes it's nice to have peace deals like this. And I, I don't want to insult the deaths. I really don't. But, like... You should have the option. Man, I like having options. I don't want to do that. Let's just coordinate our attacks with these different groups here. Because you're going to attack Ausish as well. We are taking our territory back, whether the Prussians like it or not. And the French, they can't do anything anyway, so. Oh, we're coming back, baby. We're gonna go up and around him, maybe. And they're still attacking. Still going crazy. 13 divisions here. One more time. We got more political power, which is nice. Fight for Carl. Oh, you better gonna fight for Carl. Research speed, artillery designer. Eh, I'll do that one. No. This is ridiculous. The Depressions should not get this much defense. We're not really focused on offense that much. Oh, well, maybe to a degree. But, like, come on. This is so stupid. The amount of industry. We have 176 factories. Are you kidding me? This doesn't make any sense. It's just got to be easy playing as Prussia. It's just got to be so easy street. Just defend against the French and then just smash the Austrians. Like, like, come on. 
You're gonna go in there. You're gonna go in there. Uh, take these divisions too. Yeah, you're not coming in here, you son of a gun. How are the Prussians still able to attack? With, like, no manpower. Literally no guns, too. You're still going in. You're still going in. You are still going in. How? Are these guys... They must be 40 combat or something. Completely out of guns. Um... Do this. Now we're completely out of artillery. Let's get our core tiles back. Oh, I hate this. What's that? 1940. Ahead of time, I don't care though. Go in here. Anything here? F2 specialist, ambusher. Let's go with efficient assault, maybe. So, King Poland attack assist the Bavarians. No! Are you kidding me? No! Force it. I don't care. Force it. Well, they want to die so badly, but god dang it, let them die. I mean, there's nothing we can do here. This is ridiculous. This is so unbalanced, it's not even funny. Because there's nothing we can do around here. There's literally nothing we can do. At this point, you're going to join this group here because you can't do anything. And you are going to join the center line because we can't hold the line here. I mean, look at this. The Second Brothers Coalition and, and the Social International. Are you kidding me? And we don't get Italy as a puppet? At, at, all, at all? Nothing from them? <laughs> uh, let's see. Establishing the Arbeitsbrigaden. Most organized teams of workers to work fast uh, together than alone. An efficient assembly lines keep part of keep part of a strong industry and then uh, a new centralized economy by improving or building upon Vienna funding Austrian weapon companies improving our assembly lines we've successfully modernized Austria well I don't know about that we'll get there we're trying but god dang it there's some really not great decisions here how much how much industry do these guys have they have like no stability so even combined we, we are far 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 weaker far weaker than anything else here Look how much we're out. Ridiculous. <clears throat> Get out of here, you son of a gun. No, you want to send in reinforcements? That's nice. You wish you could send in reinforcements. But promoted. Dang so yeah, no. We'll go to limited conscription next. We really could do that. Could really use that. Go to computing machine. Gonna go that too, anyways. Huh. 
Oh wow. Three way assault. Assaultron? And now they're coming back. You, you just can't win here, man. This sucks. And honestly, if they want to do this, you need to open up another massive front against the other Someone from Central Asia or something. Because this is, this is so stupid. It's so stupid. You should get absolutely no combat buffs here. Excuse me. Let's go that way, ding dong. Of course, they give a Zook off at like level 5. Why? Of course. Eh, just wait, wait. And Gros Kaiserwerke. We need to build a great factory to commemorate the Kaiser's efforts of modernization. It should be a symbolic, it shall be symbolic of a new age of economic growth and opportunity for the Empire. Well, we'll see. The amount of army XP we're getting is ridiculously bad compared to how much destruction that's going on. This is core territory. How can we not win on core territory here? It's all air. Yeah, I mean this is this we're we're destined to lose. We really are. It's more vampire. Nothing we can do. I mean, the French are too weak. Britain pledged to support a cause, I doubt it. Now, wanting to know the situation resembling the invasion of Hanover, I was the first to agree to join us against the Prussians before the madness engulfs the continent. Uh, you already rejected us once. How can we trust you at your word at all? I guess that's how we can trust them. What the heck? Now, can you get to do something against them? My god, this is so stupid. <laughs> it's one thing we can hold the line, at the very least. But there's no way we can hold the line here. Without using, you know, being, like, very lucky. How? The Prussians need a nerf. This is too much for them. Extra breakthrough, extra attack, extra defense. Extra, extra defense against us. For what flippin' reason? I know, I get it, revanchism. But Jesus Christ. That's, like, on steroids right now. We get 5% extra attack. That's all we get. 5%. 5%. Russia needs another enemy to fight. This is, this is it's just too much. You look at the she's lost about a million, 600,000, 1.66 million. Russia's lost half a million. Well, not against us though, yeah, 300,000. The French Empire, about 100,000. Fuck assumption's pretty bad, huh? If they're gonna have this much industry and this much strength, they need to be nerfed harder, way harder.
Uh, let's do 40. Let's go and get some more output. That'd probably be good. After that one, um, uh, from the OIRK, the also Rashishal Resource and Commission will be put in place to ensure the imports and domestic production of strategically important resources. Through this organization, we can also improve the colonies. Yeah. Looks like they've done so much having the UK join the war. Here, give them military access. That's not good. Um, it says you can do well. I kind of doubt it, I'll be honest. I really doubt it. Let's get to the river. Um, yeah, we got nothing. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure what to do at this point. We'll try small little attacks and such, but... Russia needs a nerf. What's wrong with these guys? Why are you so weak? Doubt we're positive. I'm sure oh, we are positive. Look at that. Oh, good figure. Get some more light tanks too, huh? Can you guys actually win here? Kind of doubt it. We're going to be out of equipment very soon too, but whatever. Screaming Poland, Russia. You know what? Sure, why not? Danube. We'll do that one too. Danube, no, the Prussian one we want, really. This is stupid. Not much. Gonna take some of our territory back. <laughs> just casually having 13 Ottoman divisions just kind of hanging out there. Just, just, just hanging out. From New York. I got. I just got some of these guys back. No, yeah, no, well, they need another front around here. Well, at least that offensive seemed okay. Sure, Egypt will take a non aggression pact. Silesia. We got our guys fast enough, we can move them again. I kind of doubt we have anyone else. We can import from, really, French Empire. We'll take at least one from them. That'd be nice. Get some radar, perhaps. Yeah, that'd be smart to do, perhaps. And grab at least two more of these. Support weapons, not bad. 1940, almost 1941. Oh, look, the UK's actually doing something. Finally, thank God. Go. I guess it's time to try to attack again. What happened to them? Why are they so easy now? <laughs> this makes no sense. This just makes no sense at all. <sighs> Force attack. That's fine, I don't care. Yeah, stuff that's fun. Do we get naval battles up in here? No? Nothing there. Export delegate might not be bad. Eh, yeah, I could try that. Yeah, why not? Rook. Over this guy. Why are they so easy? The Germans gave us a really good excuse to push, so. Or the British did against the Germans. Which completely out of fuel, which sucks. Oh, 
Oh man, we could like link up with them. Why are these? Why are the French so bad? I know they're French, but they really shouldn't be this bad, should they? Imperial overextension, huh? Path of aggression. Hold on, if they have path of aggression, they should have more buffs than that. It's gonna be that aggressive. All right, so that's after that. Um, Togo, Nairobi, Kenya. Uh, Kazakh, Alicia, Lufthansa. Lufthansa saved us during the Europa Creek, helping us push back the Prussians at times when they were creeping closer to Vienna. With another major war on the horizon, we almost all worked to improve our air force. Pretty much, yeah, I agree. Completely agree. Forty-one. Addressing this too. Well, we've almost linked up with the guys over there. Why are we doing so well now? I do not understand this. Supplies got off of it still. Of course, just throwing the Manchu Republic, why not? Well, we made it to the Black, Black Sea. The Baltic Sea. We're doing the land auction as well now, too. This makes no sense. At certain times, Ron's own authorities capitulated, eh? Hello, British guys! Well, we're on all offensives anyway, so. Might as well try it. Two. A little ahead of time as well. Uh, here we go, too. Why not? Good. Look at all the divisions in circle. Hey, British boys. Hello, hello. Kill them all off. Give every single last one of them off. It's gonna free up so many divisions, it's not even funny. The French are very pathetic though. Like they should not be this weak. They really should not be. Now I'm a little apprehensive to play as them. Oh now they're gonna do that in 19 oh, come on. That's so stupid. Now they go to war? Please. They won't focus on China, but they're going to focus on Russia? No, we're out of manpower now. Build airfields. We need first to expand airfields before we can fully invest in an air force. Oh, well, those were, thank God, finally, Jesus Christ. Please, don't have us uh, do a scripted peace deal. That if it's support, though. Airline battle. Our Air Force should uh, complement the Air Force not being an independent ar arm of the military. This is stupid. No. No, are you kidding me? This Carl's learning a lot, though. That's nice. Force it. If you die, you die. I don't care. Of course, most of them aren't even over here anyways. And by the end, Japan? Yeah, why not? I hope they say yes. How are we doing so well against Russia? It just does. It just boggles the mind. Alright, well, I guess we'll see.
More air? Sure, why not? Well, we're getting closer. Well, just for raging earlier, but like this is. I don't understand this sometimes. I really don't. We signed a white piece? This. Second Treaty of Vienna? I hate this. This is it. We're victorious over the Prussian scum ever since 1866 in the first Baruch Tree. We have been our greatest enemy, but now we finally destroyed him. Once for all, however, we still have a long way to go. Just many growing sympathizers still look in the shadows, so we must establish a strong military government and raid the resistance force so to save us the country. Then we can make further decisions, but for now, we shall take. shall bask in a prior victory, finally. What? Add post war occupation of Prussia? Uh, they lost all victory of hope. There have been more enemies since the first Brucery, which Austria, of course, won. Council of Europe collapsed with Austria victorious, but they will stop to deal with many German departments and growing spores that remain. What? When Rommel, Hans Beidel, Napoleon I. Man, what the heck? Just what the heck? Fall of Berlin, which is nice. Yes, that's good, thank God. But what? Goring's trial. We've charged German Goring with human rights violations against ethnic Austrians, the judge said Karl Smaug. David is arch nemesis uh, Hermann Goring's trial. He was going to be sentenced to his death, considering that the judge was Austrian and he had been appointed by Karl himself. He was going to serve as a lesson for all those who resisted the rule of the Habsburgs. The character deserved it. Force the attack. Empire Japan joins Austria's faction. Plan to stop expansionism from swaying Europe is making progress. Taisho approves our efforts and has accepted our invitation to an alliance. One step closer to rebuilding. Well, great China war. All right. Berlin's ours again. It's fine. South China folks seeks to join the Pact of Foreign Shop. As the current appeals in the international politics seem to continue to reverberate throughout the world, South China. Yeah, the Republic has seemed to be deemed us to be their greatest chance to survive in these tumultuous times. They therefore request to be admitted to our alliance so that we may weather the coming storm together. Yeah. Screw it, why not? Who cares? I just want to fish off the Russians here. Then I gotta call an episode because I don't have that much time and this is mm, Oh my god, I'm mm. This is, sometimes just doesn't make any sense. A new European order. A victorious we are over the Prussian scum. Now Europe and shambles lies ahead of us as we the hegemon must shape our vision. Uh, of course we do airline battle, of course. Uh, Remnants of Pr Prussia. That'd be good to do. Military occupation of Prussia sucking away a lot of our resources. We must come up with a concrete solution now. Stabilizing Europe. Rival France and Germany. Okay, The greatest Austria. The German Confederation. Establish a confederate diet. Strengthen the rule of the military. No, obviously, gotta got go that way. Unite Klein Deutschland. Karl. Crown. Karl the Strong. Claim Gross Deutschland. And the. Oh, yeah, threat. Oh, man. Well, at least we're making more stuff here. I guess. I guess we're just gonna go, go in. Let's hold here. Let's get some more planning done. Let's be smart about it. 
I'm gonna force the attack. I'm gonna kill them all off. Man. Oh, do that one. Why not? Sure. Why not? Oh, Barat. Okay. Look at all these divisions. Force it. Oh, so those guys are gone. We're going to destroy Bulgaria next. Follow with the Ottomans. Wow. It's going Poland, yeah. Oh, yeah. Vladimir Lenin. I can't wait to play as these guys. Make it super easy for us. European order. Remnants of Prussia. Follow with Vladivostok. Stabilizing Europe, and probably probably France and Germany. The French scum hold possessions Germany that belong to our realm. Napoleon VI is growing too powerful and must intervene before it's too late. They're not powerful. No way. Demand Bukovina? Bukovina will finally be incorporated into the Empire. Stolen from the pesky Romanians in the Europe of Greek. That Hohenzollern scum carols at our backs uh, again with his ridiculous Transylvanian claims. We must silence the threat once and for all and install it from the government. Well, let's see what we can do. Uh, but let's, I want to finish this one first. We'll do some of these off-screen as well, like that one. Strafing. Extra bombers cast. We can do stuff. Strafing. Strafing is flying over an enemy army and ridding them with bullets. That's more more it's fear tactic than doing, do, than doing a lot of damage. Aces. We need to promote Aces skill pilots to heroically fight the enemy. We'll provide more obus or units. Reform Air Force. Uh, through our Air Forums, we prepared the Air Force. What, what the crap? Um... Uh, for the final struggle with the Prussians, they stand no chance against Kaiser's Air Force. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Are right, we good to go? Spies suck. Well, what else is new? Attack where we can. Actually, go down here and then cut him off would be very good. Nice. Yes. Spy Master, yes. Airline Battle. But I think we'll end this episode here. I apologize for raging a lot more, but this is... This is honestly very ridiculous. But, whatever. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow, as hopefully I'll rage less and will defeat pretty much everybody in Europe at this point. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.